Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. Today I want to show you how to install the Interworks control panel on your VPS with us here at NameHero. Now if you're familiar with um, NameHero and been following us for the last couple of months, you're probably aware of the recent cPanel price increase. Now it's really not even getting recent now, it's kind of becoming old news, but still it's about to, um, or it has been affecting the web hosting industry as a whole. So here at NameHero we've been researching and looking at additional control panels to add especially for our VPS hosting customers and as far as our infrastructure as a whole. Um, we have chosen Interworks as one of our new supported control panels. So you're going to see a bunch of um, new content come out on our YouTube channel and as well as our blog on how to use it and a demo and all kinds of features. So this is one of, one of many to come and this is how to install it using the command line. So soon we're going to have the ability to deploy your VPS and this automatically happen for you. But I still felt like it was appropriate to put a video up on the on the YouTube channel and also highlight this on our blog on how to just install Interworks from scratch. So this is the Interworks website and you can see it's a smart, scalable and secure hosting control panel. So again, I've been testing this for a couple months now and specifically, I really like the performance aspect of Interworks. There's many things you can do inside of it to um, create an advanced cluster of servers to keep your sites or your setup really um, scalable and fast. It also has all the same features that cPanel has. So if you're a, a cPanel user and you're moving over, um, you're gonna find all of those um, same resources available to you. Now we'll say it's still not as, it doesn't look as clean as cPanel does, but I'm assuming that this is gonna continue to be worked on. I know here at Name Hero, we've got some customized templates that we're working on and we're also gonna release into our servers. So, and again, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you just how to install it in the command line. It's super quick and easy, but if you've never heard of Interworks, feel free to go over to their website and you can read you know about their features and the stuff they've got and you know kind of a comparison against cPanel and you can you'll even see my face down here as a um, giving a testimonial because again we have been um, testing it and using it here at Name Hero so all kinds of um, cool things to come with Interworks so let me um, go over here to their install page. So this is on their um, documentation, and if you, I just Googled you know, how to install Interworks and pull it from their site, um, I think you can go to support and documentation and find it there as well if you're just following along. Um, if you go down here, you can see that the requirements are pretty simple. So you know, they said they've put, spent a considerable amount of time to make this as easy as possible. Um, the script tries to do everything, so really you just have to run one command. So even if you're not familiar with running SSH commands, it's pretty easy. Um, you just have to have some prerequisites. So a supported VPS system, if we click over here, so if it's a VPS, it's using VMware, Xen, VirtualBox, OpenVZ, VirtualAuto, or a Rackspace Cloud. So, you know, pretty simple stuff. And if you have a VPS hosting package here at Name Hero, you've already got these prerequisites met. And if we go back here and look at the other one, minimum supported hardware configuration. So this is if you're, um, well, really, if you're deploying on a dedicated server, but also a VPS, you know, you have to have at least um, 768 megabytes of RAM, one gigabyte's recommended. And of course, we don't sell anything lower than two gigabytes, so you're good there. Um, a clean install of a supported operating system. So this is, um, you need to have a new install of one of their supported operating systems, such as CentOS, um, I like seven, six is old, so I really recommend that, five's not recommended anymore, or your basic Red Hat um, Enterprise Linux six, seven, six, and five, which again, five's not recommended. And it also runs on Cloud Linux um, OS too, I didn't see that here, uh, but it does run on Cloud Linux as well. So what I recommend doing is having a clean install of CentOS 7 and that's what I'm going to be demonstrating on today. But again, if you're a current Name Hero customer and you're wanting to change over your server, you know, we'll take care of this for you. Um, but this is for those of you that just have a plain CentOS 7 box and want to install it yourself. And that way when I'm doing my tutorials, I highlight everything from beginning all the way through. So down here is instructions. Very, very simple. So first thing is log into your Linux server as root via SSH or terminal and download and run the installer. And again, that's pretty easy and you can also do it with no prompting. And so no prompting means it doesn't show you anything as it moves along. So let me pull over here my test box. So I've got my SSH window here. This is my Mac terminal. I just go to utilities and bring up terminal. And I've already got my server online. So I'm just going to use the following command and I'll paste it. 
paste SSH root and then my IP address. So pretty standard, you know, unless you've customized your um, port, SSH port, which I believe you should do, but feel free to do it after you get Dinnerworks installed. All right, so this is a new server, so I've got to say yes. And now it wants my password. I'm gonna copy and paste that. You know, I hope your password's not one you can remember and it's super long and hard like mine is here. I can get the whole thing copied. Copy and let's paste, or paste, there we go. And I didn't get it, let's try it again. There we go. All right, so now we are inside of um, the server. And again, this is just a clean CentOS 7 box, so there's nothing on it. That's the root folder, and you can see there's nothing in there. So what I like to do is go into the root folder, so kind of C CD um, space tilde, and um, this will put you in the root folder, and that's where I was when I started, so there's nothing in there. Um, I like to use that for my installs, so when I'm finished with them, I know where they are, and I can delete them. So let's just go back here for a second. We want to run this installer and I like to run it with prompts because I like to see what it's doing. So I'm just going to copy this command here and I'll pull this back here and then I'll paste this. So this is going to execute, that's what SH is, to execute this bash script from Interworks. And push enter and here we go. So Cloud Linux um, or CentOS Linux 7 is what we're on. Um, just kind of the details about the server, um, the, the default PHP 7.3, it's got Maria database. And so this is from my image here, what's already installed here. And click, so the script uh, may run many times. So we'll just go through this. Please make sure you have backed up any critical data. So again, you know, if your server's not brand new, if you've got stuff on it, you really need some backups. So if you're working with us here at Name Hero, hit us up. Let's make sure that we take a full backup of your server before you go do, doing anything. And again, our team will do this for you for existing customers. But again, this install, this video is primarily for those with a brand new server. So backups is probably not gonna be necessary. Again, it'll run multiple, may run multiple times without problem. Um, it's helpful if you find an error. It's helpful if you find an error, and you can use Control C to get out of it um, to fix your error and then restart. And so details installation will be logged in this log here. And so here's the target, the platform, processor, all the fun stuff inside of the server. And we're just going to push Enter to go, and now we're off to the races. So now it's just going to start here and it's going to go through the checklist of stuff that Dinnerworks requires and start installing everything on side of the server. So let's see here. That's the Linux enabled. Please disable. Um, complex and most recent stable. And SE Linux should not be enabled by default, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. And here we go. So this is probably going to run for a few minutes. Let's see. These are remove some packages that may conflict. Yes, that's fine. It's going to remove those. And so it can proceed. So you probably just got to sit through here and kind of watch it again. You can remove the prompts, but you're going to need those to make sure that you have everything set up and installed correctly. And see, it's installing their LVS load balancers. See, I think that's really cool about Interworks is it's kind of built with high availability in mind. So, you know, if you want to set up multiple VPSs, you know, for one website, so you can load balance and all that kind of stuff, it's going to be, you're going to find a lot more um, satisfaction than trying to do that with cPanel. So, again, that's another big bonus to using Interworks is it's, you know, can go um, with a high availability solution. cPanel is kind of a pain in the butt. All right, so now it's doing all of our packages here. And it shouldn't take too long. But once again, if you are deploying new, we will do this from um, the get-go with you here at Name Hero. But to those that want to do it manually, have that option as well. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause this video while this runs because it could run some time. And if it um, pops up something of concern that you might get as well, I'll resume. But if not, I will show you the video once we are completed. So I'm going to go ahead and just pause really quick. All right, so once it's completed, you're going to see this message here, and you can see it. Well, it took about 15 minutes or so after I paused the video just to run through all this. So feel free to, um, you know, read through there, see if you had any errors or not. Um, of course, I didn't. And if you did, it would probably, if you had any big ones, it would stop you and, and have you correct them before it completed. But you can see once it's complete, you should see something like this. And it says to activate your license, go to your IP port 2443 slash nodeworks. So let's copy that in. 
I got into my IP part, but I didn't get NodeWorks. So let's get that in here. So NodeWorks is their version of Webhost Manager. So they have SiteWorks, which is their version of cPanel, and then NodeWorks. And I guess the port's gonna take us there. Now you're gonna notice when you go to this in your browser, you see your connection's not private. And that's because the, the SSL cert on the IP is um, self-signed, meaning it's signed by the server. So um, you're not gonna get your information stolen. You know, this would be, if this was your site, of course it'd be an issue, but it's not. So you can click advanced and proceed if you're using Chrome. If you're using another browser, it's similar to, to move on. So now you just need to enter in um, your email, your root password, or just your, your main password to your main account. So this is gonna be for your master admin. As you can see, it's been installed, you know, and what's your email, password, and your license key. So again, if you've, um, you're with us here at Name Hero, we already have that. If you're just watching this on YouTube on how to install Interworks, then um, you should have your license key available. So again, I'm just gonna pause really quick while I enter in my information just to keep all that protected, and then we'll, cons we'll I will resume the video and we'll take a look inside. All right, as soon as I enter in that information, you can see it finalizes the um, setup here. Problem setting up database info. Ooh, maybe we'll run into something we have to fix. <clears throat> but once again, you know, the big thing is to make sure you're, when you set up an admin password, that it's really strong. Um, you know, use a combination of um, uppercase, lowercase, numbers, special characters, and all that stuff. So I've got an activation field, and that's probably because I've been using this license. Um, and I need to reissue it because what I did is I wiped clean this um, server before starting this. So I will um, I'll do that and then um, get back here. So I'm probably going to end this video though, and I'm going to do another one to show you like it's going to be called Introduction to Interworks. So, um, but just to summarize, this is Interworks Control Panel. It's very similar to cPanel and Webhost Manager, um, but it's of course not near as expensive as um, Webhost Manager and cPanel. Um, it's built um, with high speed in, in mind. So those of you that have a VPS with the set name Hero, you'll really enjoy the extra features. Um, at Name Hero, we will begin offering this for our VPS hosting packages. We are not yet offering it for our web hosting and reseller hosting, but I foresee us eventually doing that. Um, but for our VPS, this will become available very, very soon. And um, again, we will deploy it for you automatically, but I wanted to show you how it works. Um, it's very simple. We just needed to have the VPS deployed. We used CentOS 7, and then we ran this script. So pretty straightforward. You can learn more about um, Interworks on their site. And um, the final thing here was that, um, was that uh, what am I leaving out here? Um, well, I guess that's it until we get inside. But again, um, Interworks is, um, is the brand, and then NodeWorks is like Web Host Manager, and then there's SiteWorks, which is like cPanel. So NodeWorks is like the server control panel for your root users and your resellers, and then SiteWorks is like the cPanel. That's what the end users see that are just configuring and setting up their website. So it's like whereas cPanel is just, um, would be equivalent to SiteWorks, NodeWorks is equivalent to Web Host Manager, and then Interworks is just the name of their whole company, whereas cPanel just uses cPanel. So kind of keep that in mind. I know for me it was a little confusing when I got started with Interworks, trying to decipher, you know, what's NodeWorks, what's SiteWorks, what's Interworks, how it all comes together. So that's how it works. Once again, I'll get my license reissued here, and then we'll proceed um, with a new video called Inter Introduction to NodeWorks, and then we'll also do Introduction to SiteWorks, and then also show customizations. We'll go through a video doing how to set up and install Cloud Linux OS, um, and also Lightspeed and all the other fun stuff that uh, you may want to add to your server later on. But you can see, really easy video, the, or installation progress, it took 10, 15 15 minutes, just had to copy and paste one command, nothing too hard. So thanks so much for watching and using us here at namehero.com.